definition of a dual in Oxford Dictionary is rather strict, and if I am to stick to just that, then technically a war epic Troy has only two of those, but today I'm borrowing a cunning intelligence of King Odysseus himself and presenting you with as many as six of those, all worthy to be talked about. We play with the toys that God to give us. Hey, I'm Robin, I love history, but I'm bad at watching movies, so here we talk about historical film and TV. Huge spoilers incoming, so if you haven't seen Troy, I highly recommend you to go watch it before watching this video. For the rest of us, I pulled four definitions of a duel from respectable sources, combined some commonalities, disregarded some variations, used common sense, and blended it all together into my self-proclaimed Odysseus definition. I guess I could have just used synonyms. Anyway, that's how I ended up with six, and I thought it would be fun to rank them based on fight choreography, emotional impact, and usefulness to the story and character. Number six, Patroclus versus Hector. A lot in this duel rides on the shocking reveal at the end, but I remember I was not fully sold on this whole Achilles slash Patroclus switch, even on the first watch. Brad Pitt's face was just super blurred and there were some sporadic physique changes, probably actor changes. Everyone on the battlefield who managed to get the front row seats to watch those two fight at a huge wake-up call. Patroclus cannot execute anything that poses even remote threat to Hector. He moves like a snail even though the armor is not that heavy. This is not the same Patroclus we just saw before practicing with Achilles. Fun fact, in Homer's Iliad, Hector takes Achilles' armor from the fallen Patroclus and attempts to carry his body back to Troy. Achilles goes loco, runs to the walls of Troy while the battle still rages and manages to get Patroclus' body back. In Troy, this duel is used to cut the battle scene short and Patroclus only gets 22 seconds of send-off from the moment he first swings his sword at Hector. It's a pity, really. It gets 18 out of 30 possible points. I hope to surprise or enrage you with my next one. Probably both. Number 5. Achilles versus Patroclus. I know they're using practice swords, but there is a disagreement present. In this case, it's Patroclus' fighting prowess and readiness for war. You think you're too cool for school. And look who shows up to witness. Odysseus himself, so it does qualify as a friendly, quirky, and fun duel. Even though the swings are pretty broad, the footwork and the use of a terrain is amazing. They move as one, and Patroclus here is basically a softer copy of Achilles, the fact that plays into the crucial point of the story later. The choreography here reflects perfectly the playful mood those two are in, and Patroclus's words for the Greeks give us some really important insight into his character. The total number of points, blackjack. My next one could be in the big league if the real two participants could fight at that point. Sitting pretty at number four is Paris versus Menelaus. For me, the duel is really between Hector and Agamemnon, the staring contest between patriotism and greed, but you gotta move a pawn to free a bishop and Paris and Menelaus are just that, two pawns in a Trojan game. I love Helen. I know I'm supposed to feel something for Paris here, but I end up cheering for Hector and hating Agamemnon even more. Physically, the duel is very one-sided. I know it makes sense character-wise, but for me it's kind of a little bit boring to watch. Many Laos just simply humiliates Paris, unloading his full body weight on him, ignoring every single kill opportunity he gets. And Paris? I don't know what he does, he cannot even execute a fair advice from his brother. Make him swing and miss, he'll tie I guess he kind of forgot the miss part. Overall, the duel works great for the story and it still gets respectful 24 points. Now, I gotta say, my bronze and silver came very close. It's like choosing between two dates that have really same qualities and make you feel great but in a different way. My number three goes to Achilles versus Boagrius. This duel is a very smart and entertaining way to introduce us to the story setting, a couple of main characters and relationship between them. You can almost touch the tension between Achilles and Agamemnon. It's that palpable. Regardless how quick is the combat, the setup and the execution make up for that in full. We haven't seen Achilles fight yet, but we very quickly learn about his agile and calculative style. Here we get introduced to his iconic jump thrust move that later has been used in his and Hector fight. A very nice touch that none of the soldiers can look him straight into the eye after the duel is over. A well-earned 27 points. Funny enough, my next contender also features a giant. 
there is just more primal combat emotion to it. My second place goes to Ajax versus Hector. The duel happens within the assault on the walls of Troy and carries that same similar energy and momentum as the battle around them. It's a clash of two different body types and fighting styles. But fight choreography not only doesn't shy from it, but doubles down on it. This is when we see why Hector is such a good fighter. His sheer tenacity and ability to improvise on the spot is absolutely mind-blowing. Plus, we already learned that he's a caring brother, a good husband and a father. So the reasons to root and cheer for him and gasp are plenty. This duel is an absolute mic drop for Hector, and for me it ramps up to 28 points. I hate to state the obvious, but um, here we are. Number one, two legends immortalized in one myth. By this time, both warriors are well aware of each other, and as soon as they move, each blow is meant to be the last. When Hector's spear breaks, Achilles even denies him to draw out his sword by putting a constant pressure on him. Finally, we can see his demigod power unfold to full. There is a sword thrust that he executes without practically any body weight behind it, but it still sends Hector flying and shaking like a gate under the hit of a heavy ram. And Hector's tenacity, on the other hand, frustrates every Greek god out of Achilles, and Achilles is basically forced to use his calculative wits to end the fight. I think it goes without saying that both characters have reasons to be rooted for. And the fact that Eric Bana and Brad Pitt didn't use stunt doubles for this duel at all makes me feel every time I watch it that I'm the one fighting, except I would have viperated in that heat in the first 10 seconds. So this is the rare case when I have to give it a perfect score. Let me know in the comments your favorite on-screen duel and talk later.